Hi, I'm Daddy Knight, and welcome to The Feather, where the facial hair is as sparse as reconciliation. You're probably wondering how I get around these days. Apart from a smudge bowl and some dried meat, I like to carry around with me a protest sign. Because we all know that this is required equipment when living in a nation full of immigrants who don't respect open borders. Should have built that wall. So in this episode, we would like to discuss revolutionary etiquette and responsible dissent in a segment we like to call three ways to properly protest. With all the headlines as of late, every time I see a privileged individual take to the streets to protest, I think to myself, amateur. Don't get me wrong, they have every right to protest whatever they want, no matter how silly or trivial it may be. <coughs> we are only here to give you a few pointers. Beginning with number one. Penetrating the earth requires consent. Actually, now that I think about it, oil companies love to lay down pipe and penetrate the land. They must be full of sexually frustrated men. It's no wonder they don't ask for consent. Dirty men at work covered in grease. I think these oil executives love watching them penetrate. 12 hours a day, seven days a week, in the hot, blistering heat down below. Hey, Daddy, can we get back to the video? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. So consent. And by that, I mean indigenous people. Take, for instance, the protests in British Columbia where 14 people were arrested by the RCMP. Oh, yes, the RCMP. Basically, Canada's Biff. And we were Marty in this situation, just trying to protect the girl, or in this case, Mother Earth. Oil companies, take your sexual fantasies elsewhere. And RCMP, understand the history before you go all biff on her ass. All right, number two, be informed. Otherwise, you'll look like a jackass. And no spin kicks from hippies. The yellow vest movement in Canada, not to be confused with the yellow jackets, even though they're both evil, soulless, and won't go away, is a movement against Trudeau's carbon tax and, and the GCM. Uh, the Global Compact on Migration. Or, in their own words, this group is to protest the carbon tax and the treason of our country's politicians who have the audacity to sell our country's sovereignty over to the globalist UN and their tyrannical policies. God bless. God bless? I'm pretty sure God was open to my refugees, but whatever. Um, so let's get down to brass taxes. In 2017, Canada received close to refugee applicants. By 2018, we had finalized or close to. Not only is this, malicious, this movement malicious, they're also uninformed. They're idiots. The GCM, or Global Compact on Migration, is not going to affect Canada. It's going to affect countries who are connected by landmass. We have a huge natural border called the ocean. Now on to number three, dress to impress. A cute little hat or a fancy little vest is not going to make your movement more believable. For example, during the last Indigenous Peoples March, you might have noticed a group of teenagers with big smiles on their face ready to start a Trump rally. These hats are terrible fashion choices. Make America great again? What about make America fabulous? Or make Canada good for once? And don't get me started on these yellow vests. When I see a bunch of you guys, I think you're a bunch of Walmart greeters. Take us for instance, man. Like, we bring it. Women wear jingle dresses. We do these crazy round dance flash mobs in your malls. Our elders sing honor songs. And the most traditional regalia of them all, handcuffs. Activism is great, but informed activism is sexy. I'm Danny Knight, and this is The Feather. Can you post my bail?